I remember I had a garden hose in the lawn, and I would open the faucet, and the garden hose would start to snake backwards. Why? Water squirts out. The garden hose pushes onto the water in this direction, the water pushes back onto the garden hose, and it snakes back. Action equals minus reaction. You take a balloon. You take a balloon and you blow up the balloon. And you let the air out. The balloon pushes onto the air, the air must push onto the balloon. And therefore, when you let it go, the balloon will go in this direction, which is the basic idea behind a rocket. I love to play with balloons, don't you? So, if I do it like this and I let it go, the air will come out in this direction, and so then that means the balloon is pushing on the air in this direction, the air must be pushing on the balloon in this direction. There it goes. It didn't make it to the moon, but you saw the, the idea of a rocket. Action equals minus reaction. If you fire a gun, the gun exerts a force on the bullet. The bullet exerts an equal force on the gun, which is called the recoil. You feel that in your hands, in your shoulder. I have here a marvelous device, which is a beautiful example of action equals minus reaction. I show you from above what it looks like. You'll see more details later. This rotates about this axis rather freely. The axis is vertical. And we have here a reservoir of water, which we will heat up. It turns into steam, and these are hollow tubes, and the steam will squirt out. And so when the steam squirts out in this direction, the tube exerts a force on the steam in this direction, so the steam exerts an equal force in the opposite direction, and so the thing will start to rotate like this. And I would like to demonstrate that. 